hypothesis. Why people are showing off these cars. If the cars, they appear to be attached to murders, a lot of them. So why would you show that off and why would you parade it out in that manner? And why would you even do it at all? Because couldn't it happen to your family? There's a um, Nevada license plate on a new car, a new Chevy. Um, so what I think is that because I think they're playing numbers, it's unlikely, if, if this many people are involved in this, then any given person is maybe unlikely to become an, at least an early target. As this technology gets more sophisticated, um, it's going to be easier and easier to target people and to, <clears throat> you know, assassinate people. Because, yeah, it'll just be easier. They'll just have everybody hooked up to the assassination, you know, to the wires and the sh machine. They decide when they're going to get rid of you and they get rid of you. And just from what I've seen from, like, reading the obituaries, for example, of people in Humboldt County. Humboldt County's not, is it not a high population area, but it, it's got a lot of people involved in this. And people's um, death dates often seem to me to be planned out or, you know, not a coincidence, not something that just happened. It's a blood red car. Um, anyway, I think they're playing numbers. So if you're a celebrity, you're more likely to get caught, I think, in the teeth of the assassination machine simply because of higher visibility. Um, and that probably also, there's probably a few things like that that help explain why celebrities might be a little bit more interested to see things turn around and the average person, whether or not, you know, regardless of what they present themselves as, I would think that would be the case. Um, so that's what I think is going on. I think they're just, you know, cars are expensive. Your average person, I think, would have a hard time buying a new car. That is a South Dakota license plate on a Suzuki. So that's what I think is going on. And, um... It's been normalized to people, so they, you know, they feel like it's a way that they should be permitted to continue to live, and I disagree for a num any number of reasons. And really, one of the, I mean, there's a lot of, from my perspective, there's a lot of really sad things about this, but one of the sad things is that as a child, you don't seem to be able to opt out of this if your parents have opted in. If your parents have opted into this as your child of a parent that's been doing this, you can figure you've been under surveillance since you were very young, and um, your parents, have, you know, probably bring you into this themselves. But I just don't see this being an option for most people. It's like um, I just don't see it. It doesn't seem like it's a voluntary thing at all. And um, <clears throat> I think the youth are preyed on in all different ways through this, and there's all different things that make more arguments about it later. I'm just trying to understand what it is right now, and I think that's what it is.